Hey everybody, Alex from SeemsGoodMagic.com here. We're back and we're doing a best of three Crimson Vow draft. All right, Hopeful Initiates the Rare. I don't think we want that one. Could take the Fierce Retribution. It's pretty solid removal. Can never really have enough removal either. Uh, otherwise, good cards in here. I like Falcon Rat Celebrant, Blood Petal Celebrant. Um, I mean, Initiate is certainly fine too. Cheap Beater, Training is good, but I like Fierce Retribution. Whether you're paying two or six mana for it, can deal with any creature, which is nice. Flyer in here with Cruel Witness. I think we'll just go with the removal. I'm all right with it. All right, follow-up pick. Well, another retribution, or we could just take the Harvester, which is the strongest card. Two drops, spits out a blood token, can sack it to kill things. Uh, I think Harvester is certainly better than Retribution. However, do I want to take it and commit to it now? I mean, I can. It is that much better than Retribution, I would say, but just because it's also a beater, an efficient two-drop beater. Let's just take the best card for now. This is actually a debatable pick because I just think Fierce Retribution is very playable. But Harvester is so much better better than Retribution in a vacuum. Like, if this was pick one, you'd easily take the Harvester over the Retribution. It happens to be pick two, which means I'm going to have to sacrifice my pick one in order to do this, unless I'm willing to splash Retribution, which I don't love. Tough pick. I'm going to go with the Harvester, just because it's incredibly strong. All right. Unless we want to do three-color vampires with Harvester, Retribution, Purifier. That's interesting. Really not giving up much to do that. I guess we take Purifier because it's the best card in here. And who knows, maybe we do end up some sort of three-color vampire deck. Otherwise, there's Piercing Light, which is cheap removal. But Purifier, I mean, we got absolutely decimated by it in the last draft. I personally can't recall one time that I've had success with it. But um, as indicated in that last draft, last match, you can get absolutely wrecked by it. So... Guess we could take Vampires of Vengeance. Probably times where it's good. All right. I mean, I'm not giving up much for it. Again, could take the Rot Tide Gargantua, which is okay. I imagine there's times where Vampires of Vengeance is quite good. So we'll take it. Okay. Some good white picks in here. Pyre Spawn in red, another Gargantua. Best white pick. It's infantry versus probably piercing light. And shield basher is playable too. Might just take the piercing light. It's good. Early protection. So Griff Rider is a flyer. I like it. It also grows. We probably just take that. So it kind of seems like white is presumably open. There's some good green picks in here too. I like Weaver of Blossoms, but we'll take the Griff Rider, get the flyer for now. All right. I mean, definitely seems like white's open. We'll take the Initiate now. Maybe we play some sort of, yeah, and green too. It does seem like maybe white green training's open. I'm going to take the Initiate for now. We might end up abandoning ship on everything but our white picks. Just because we're going to play the open colors here. I, I like Ceremonial Knife. I could see taking that. Soul Cipher Board is a good card too. I don't really like the Beguiler. Let's take the Knife. Knife's good with training and giving some card advantage. So I think it's worth taking there. We have a couple training dudes now, which is cool. We'll see if we wheel the Initiate since we got a 7th pick one. That would be interesting. Uh, could take another training dude here. There's Markov Retribution. There's Blood Petal Celebrant. I'll take the trainee. We might, just based on the green picks we've seen, end up green. Uh, best pick here is Soul Cipher Board. I'm not going to play these green picks. Honored Heirloom is at least a good sideboard card, but I don't know. Maybe Blue's open too. I'll keep my options open. All right, Vampire Slayer is a two drop. I kind of think the green's open, and Snarling Wolf is kind of deceptively good, I feel like, especially with training, so I'll take it. 
I like Snarling Wolf. It's played well, surprisingly well. And like I said, it kind of felt like green was open. We saw a lot of late green. Rallier versus Sporeback Wolf. Wolf's cheaper, but Rallier trains better. So I think I'm going to take that one. It is a three drop, however. Disciple, there's a good, how many humans do I have? Four humans already. I think we'll take Disciple over Shield Basher. Be happy enough about that. Let's just, at this point, commit ourselves to this, which is fine. We're, we're in the open colors. Jeez, some good black-red stuff here, though. Probably take the Vanguard, I suppose. I mean, we have five humans now, so um, could be good. At worst, you have one other human. You have one human. It's a 3-3 ward 2 for 3, which is pretty good. So, and it only gets better from there. So let's take it. Dream Shackle, guys. There's a powerful blue spell. However, we could take Massive Might, Spore Crawler, Flourishing Hunter, Piercing Light, and Nurturing Presence. I think Massive Might's probably better than Piercing Light. Especially if we're going to play a beatdown thing with training. So I think I might take the Massive Might over Spore Crawler too. Dream Shackle Geist is definitely the strongest thing here, but I feel like the green white plan is probably open. I'm going to take Massive Might. Spore Crawler might be the right option there too. I, I don't know. I could go either way on that. Here I'll take Riffwing Cavalry. It's another human. It allows your dudes to fly. It's evasive on its own. It grows. A lot of upside to it. It's also a human. Our human count is really getting up there now, which is cool. All right, we get a great pickup here in Cloaked Cadet. This is the Cloaked Cadet deck. We have all the training humans, so it's just kind of perfect and exactly what we want. I think the chances are pretty low that we play a Bramble Armor, though. Okay, well, we could take the Laid to Rest. We have a lot of humans. They can die and draw us cards. We have plus one, plus one counter stuff. I guess it makes sense here. I mean, there's nothing else we want. Heron of Hope is actually pretty good, but I'll take the Laid to Rest. We have all, like, all. I mean, this is the right place to play it. I imagine. Okay, choices here. Probably take another Rallier, I guess. If we want to play this, like, training beatdown build. I've cut Rallier many times, but I don't think we need a second knife. And I think our curve is going to be low enough where we probably don't need the Flourishing Hunter, even though it's a pretty good card. Uh, could go training number two. I don't think Trainee's a great card, but we have a lot of humans. We have a lot of human synergies. We have plus one, plus one counter synergies. I feel like we have enough incentive to rock another Trainee here. Well, this feels like the right spot for Escort. We're going to have a lot of plus one, plus one counter stuff, so we can take it. It's another one drop, too. I'd like the Massive Might pretty badly as well. Just really nice combat trick and... We're light on tricks and removal, but Escort just seems too good to pass up here. We're going to have so much stuff that works well with it. We can take the Shield Basher. It's great with training, and it's a good beater, and it's a human. No problems there. Don't need any of this. We'll just cut the green card. At this point, we're pretty well committed to our color scheme, so not going to go back on this. None of this matters for us. We'll take the Sanctify, which is at least a good sideboard card. Neither of these matter. We'll let somebody go off with Ancestral Anger. So we're close to a deck already. Removal-wise, we have a Piercing Light, a Massive Might, and a Fierce Retribution, and that's it. So removal is going to be a high priority. This is probably playable in here. I don't know if we're going to play it, but it's good with... Wow. Jeez. 
Cemetery Illuminator is a strong one, but I guess that's not happening. Arm the Cathar is kind of exactly what our deck wants, actually, because we've got all this training going, and you can just dial up your creatures in the perfect way to make Arm the Cathar really good. And we have a good creature count already, so and we want to be beat down. So there's enough, certainly enough incentive to take it here. It's possible we could wheel it, but I don't know what I'd like to take instead, so we'll take it. Fleeting Spirit is a great card. Uh, Apprentice Sharpshooter is very good too. We don't have the Wolves and Werewolves to support Howling Moon, but Fleeting Spirit I think is exactly what we want. It's a cheap beater. It's great with all of our trainees. Uh, you can save it from removal. It's just a great card. Piercing Light number two. I'm okay taking that. I'd rather have a combat trick, but I'll definitely take the Piercing Light here and be happy enough about that. So we already have a deck at this point. Massive Might, great pickup. We've got 15 creatures. Uh, probably cut the gown. I'd rather do the Ceremonial Knife and play the Might here. It's an argument we could play 16 lands. I don't know if we need to, though. We have a pretty reasonably high 4-drop count. I'm still okay with, with the late dress just because we have 13 humans. So it's basically like any of our creatures die, we draw a card. That's pretty good. Heron Bless Geist, big flyer, but I might prefer the Sport Crawler because it's good with training and it's a 3-drop and it draws us a card when it dies. Those are all pretty good incentives hmm here I probably take the disciple disciple seems incredibly strong in here especially if we want to be beat down I love the sharpshooter too but and I think Mariner would actually be good as well, but we definitely want this Disciple. Our deck is like all all humans. Disciple's going to be super, super powered in here. Uh, Weaver's a great card, but no, we're going we're gonna to just keep taking Disciples. As many as we can possibly get. It's exactly what our deck wants. Uh, another piercing light spine. I think we're going to be able to have a good balance of removal and tricks. I think there's a good chance now we might end up 16 lands. Because I can probably make this curve low enough where that's going to work. I guess we'll take Adamant Will. I don't think we need the Scorpions because at this point, I don't even think we need to play non-human creatures other than like Fleeting Spirit. And I'm still considering the Snarling Wolf, but... Even Spore Crawler, I'm not sure if we need it. We'll see. And then we might just cut, cut a little bit of our top end if we're going to do 16 lands. Sharpshooter's a, just a great card. Could take Crushing Canopy for sideboard, but I actually think Sharpshooter makes the deck with the training, especially. Wedding Invitation, I guess I can consider it. I don't know about... I actually don't know if I want... Do I want Fierce Retribution here if I'm going to do 16 lands? I got to think about it. Because we have all these Piercing Lights and Massive Mites. Like, we've got the cheap... We basically got the cheap uh, trick plan going here. I'll cons That's a late Reckless Impulse. Wow. Uh, Nature's Embrace. Okay. Well, good deck. Got to figure out cuts here. Plenty of creatures. A lot of humans. Um... I guess at this point, we can probably pretty easily just run 16 lands. I think there's just a very good chance that that's going to be able to be easy, easy to do. And we can cut four creatures here, so let's just cut some of our top end. Don't need the Shield Bashers. Probably don't need the Spore Crawler, even though it's a good card. Just because I'd rather stick to humans with three Disciples. And we can probably cut one more creature, which is a... Could cut another non-creature in the wolf. I mean, I'm okay with that. I am okay with that. All right. You know what? We'll do it. That's fine. And then <clears throat> we only need to make one more cut. And it should be a non-creature. I want to keep the piercing lights, the massive mites, the adamant well. 
I actually think Laid to Rest is pretty good here, just because our whole deck is basically humans. We have 15 creatures, 14 of which are humans, so Laid to Rest is pretty good. Plus, we can gain life off of it randomly. So we can cut one, we can cut one whole creature here, uh, or one whole non-creature. Probably the Adamant will, like, I like Massive Might more, and I kind of want to keep the knife around for training. So I'm okay cutting this. And this deck looks pretty good. Low curve. And, uh, yeah, it looks pretty good. All right, well, I'm satisfied. We'll run it like this. We'll see you around one. Uh, actually, I want to do something different. We're going to cut the Fierce Retribution and bring in the Adamant Will because I'd rather have the cheap extra damage protection from removal spell than the expense. I mean, Fierce Retribution is a good card, and I like it, and you can end up paying six mana and deal with anything. But I think for the purposes of this deck, which is clearly just land as many cheap creatures as you can get in there, it makes more sense to play the Adamant Will, which is a worse card in a vacuum, but a better card for a aggressive beatdown deck. All right, I said my piece. Let's see you in round one now. All right, round one, we've got a great keep here. Disciple into Disciple. Get the beats going. Good draw there. Hmm. It's gonna make things tricky. Can't really attack because of uh, purifier. Hmm. Oh, we're definitely attacking now. They have the trick, and they got us real good. All right, well, that's probably GG's. Guess we'll do the cavalry for now. Could have done the laid to rest. I don't quite know if that would be better. Take too much damage, be unhappy. Let them draw cards we don't want them to draw. So here we'll play the land and play the cadet and pass. I guess we can attack. And if they have retribution, so be it. Well, we wouldn't have been able to block anyway, so I guess that's all right. Don't you hate to get got by the Nebel Gas Beguiler? I do. Because now we can't even really stay back and block. Although, maybe they won't tap. Who knows? So, game two. What do I want to do? I feel like the game's mocking me for not having any success with Markov Purifier. It needed to remind me that... I'm destined to get wrecked by the card for forever. They're just going to take it, because they have a billion life to throw around.
Just getting purified here, huh? So we can do the arm the Cathars and go like three, two, one, attack with everything, play the trainee, all right. I would say you know you're in good shape when you can afford to take 17 points of damage. Looks like they have a Faithbound Judge, too, which puts us on a three turn clock. Um, can't really afford to attack, can't afford to not attack. Wow, talk about a tough situation. Guess we'll attack with both. Because like I said, I can't afford to attack, I can't afford to not attack here. Probably would have buffed the flyer if I were them. But maybe they just want to win off the judgment, so it makes sense. I just was willing to draw the card at this point because I need to do something here. Um, they're going to be able to tap my rallier. Man, oh man, do I ever hate to see Nebelgast Beguiler do something. All right. Well, I guess we're bringing in Sanctify, so I have an answer for Sinner's Judgment. And I guess we're bringing back Fierce Retribution so I can deal with their Purifier engine. Man, my uh, last couple deck ideas have really not been playing so hot here. Showed us a couple removal spells, which makes Laid to Rest... Uh, Decent option, but um, yeah, we got to bring in Sanctify. Oh man, we're just getting slammed by the Nebel Gaspagailer Vampire Slayer deck, huh? Ouchies, ouchies. Well, I guess we're the Parish Blade Trainee deck, so and the Militia Rallyer deck, so maybe maybe we we're not any better. Sanctify. Uh, anything else? Guess the retribution. I suppose we'll dip out a laid to rest. I don't think it's very good. I don't know. I don't have a good answer for that. Uh, Valorous Stance and Lantern Flare, so we probably, I guess, want to keep in. We can probably dip out of one Piercing Light and dip the Laid to Rest. Adamant Will at least is good against the two removal spells they showed us, so we'll probably keep that around. Don't really have a lot of answers for the Purifier, unfortunately, which I guess is why we're keeping the Retribution. But this is about as good as we're going to get, so let's hope we can do better.
play first. Not a good hand, but we'll keep it because it's got both colors and it has removal. It's not what I want to keep, though. Might be able to kill their minister they play on turn one. Yeah, that's true. Well, now I'd rather play the disciple. Eh, we still may very well end up killing that minister, so we'll see. Nope, they're not going to bite. That's a good draw. Well, I'm going to play the cavalry and attack. It's not what I want to do, but I also don't want to double block it and lose my cavalry. And we have answers for it later, so I'm just going to have to accept uh, taking some lifelink damage here for now. All right, well, we have the Retribution now, I guess, for that, so that's not the worst. Well, I was kind of hoping they didn't have that, but they did, so. So now we just got a bunch of lands and not really doing that much. So second disciple, what does that do for me? Doesn't do much against that Heron of Hope. I think we need something stronger. I mean, I guess I could keep it. All right. I mean, overall, it's a good card in our deck. It's just situationally not amazing for us here, but we also are like not doing much else, so. But currently not going to be able to win this uh, Heron of Hope race, unfortunately. But what are you going to do? I thought, our, I thought our plan was pretty solid, but we got offset pretty badly by the, uh, the lifelink plan, unfortunately. Beatdown versus lifelink often doesn't work out so well. Oh, I hate to see the second one. Could have sandbagged that. We have ceremonial knife, but... That's all right. Uh, because of piercing light, I, I probably, well, do we want to block or Adam and Will first? Uh, I think we actually block first because 
There's more removal spells that I have to worry about. I have the feeling we're gonna get two for one here, but we'll see. If I don't block, it, it depends. It plays around Piercing Light to cast Adamant Will first. It doesn't play around any instant speed removal better though, so I don't know if I if I like that more. If we keep ripping humans off the top, we have a chance. Otherwise, this is not a race we can win. Maybe arm the Cathars off the top. Hate to see that. I would have rather drawn the card if I were them. Oh, they get it anyway then. I guess it doesn't matter. Uh, sanctify. No enchantments, no artifacts. So they're just sitting pretty now. Now they can just hang out, chill, and draw cards. Land go. So beat down plan with training didn't work so well. We'll see you round two. Round two, we'll play first. Uh, yeah, we can keep that. Good hand. I think we start with the disciple. Yeah, it probably makes more sense because we're going to follow up with the trainee. Or now I guess we follow up with the, the rallier. Ooh, another disciple. That's good. Well, still going to do rallier. Best use of mana. moon with an infantry out is kind of weird. Great draw there. So now we'll do... I think Disciple plus Spirit. 
I guess we could do the, eh, maybe it makes more sense to do the trainee. Because then I can start training next turn. All right. I'm missing out on a disciple bonus here. Oh, I totally forgot about that. Whoops. Totally forgot about that. I'm playing like a, a real Alex Stevenson today, aren't I? And so for some reason, they still just take it. Can't play a second spell or Howling Moon triggers. Despite my best efforts, we still win. So I can do Sanctify on Howling Moon or Nurturing Presence. Doesn't really seem that good. I mean, I guess I can hit Disturb stuff that's coming back, too. Really doesn't excite me that much. Well, I guess we won, like I said, despite mistakenly giving my opponent the thing they needed to get back into the game, but they refused to double block. For some reason. I was tapped out too, so I don't I don't quite get it, but uh better mull this one. <laughs> Two one drops. They really want me to keep this one, don't they? Three one drops. I guess I'll keep it. <laughs> we could play four spells in our hand. Alright. Sure, I'll keep it. Interesting. Hmm. That's pretty good. Five, four, three,
All right, we'll see for round three. All right, round three, we'll play first. We keep it. Uh, we need white mana, but any lands, at least we can go Disciple into Sharpshooter and start hopefully do, doing something. Cool looking sleeves there, Grawl Knock. Important rip there. Oh, nice. Important rip there, too, because now we can do this and get in there. And I think they'll block, and we'll be able to piercing light as well, which is nice. Um, oh, I see. Well, I guess we'll kill the Disciple then. So if I do the Sharpshooter, my guy ends up dying, which is fine. No biggie. Um, yeah. And keep the fleeting spirit. It's actually not amazingly good against the sharpshooter, but it's still just such a good creature. I want to do it. Might be wrong. We'll see. Because a fifth land would have allowed me to draw a card. Maybe that would have been better. It's just fleeting spirit is so good on its own. It felt right, but who knows. We'll wait until after damage. Now we'll keep that so we can play the cloaked cadet. It's a lot of apprentice sharpshooters. Pass. So we can go Disciple, and we can attack here, to draw a card. All right, well, this is nice. We can sack the Escort and kill the Crawler. go. Pretty good last couple cards to have.
land go. So we can bring in Sanctify. Can't actually block the raider and kill it because my disciples only have two power. So we'll take a trillion damage. We'll go land go. Because attacking doesn't actually do that much there. They have lethal on the backswing otherwise. I think they have lethal anyway. Nice last card to draw. Especially with the splash black too. I love the double splash black. That's awesome. Alright. Let's do uh, Sanctify here. I guess Fierce Retribution again. We'll dip out a Laid to Rest. And... Uh... Maybe a Piercing Light? Sure. Sounds good. All right, we'll play first. All green land, all white spells, mall. This one we'll keep. Ditch out of a land, and I forgot if we're more green or white. I think we're more white, so I'll ditch out on the green here. We'll go trainee into Griff Rider. Not what we wanted to see. Uh, that's all right. We'll do a Griff Rider and pass. Hope they don't have like Wolf Strike or something. Or hope they don't play Wolf Strike. I guess it wouldn't be the end of the world if they did. Well, I don't love that either. So we'll go land, sharpshooter, attack for one pass. Right, we'll go Disciple, pass, hmm. Yeah, maybe I just need to be willing to two for one myself. Uh, I guess not. I kind of am, but I'm kind of not. Uh, it could go either way, I don't know. hard time deciding where they want to put that dormant grove. 
So we can triple block, lose two things. It seems pretty bad. I guess I'd rather just block and then piercing light. And just, you know, get a really bad two for one. Uh, Disciple. Oh, uh, what does Disciple do? So Disciple gives me a creature. I can't attack another dude anyway. I think we're going to have to find something better than that. All right, land go. So overall, deck did not perform very well, much worse than anticipated. I'm glad it made me choose with zero counters on it. Gosh. You guys have any idea how much I love losing to the Black Splash, Blood Craze, Socialite, Heroes Downfall deck? My favorite thing in the world is losing against Splashed Heroes Downfalls. It's what I live every day and play Magic for, is to lose for double Black Splashed instance. Maybe I need to start doing that. That's like the secret to this game. You gotta start playing double Splashed... Uh, Double color splash cards to win. That's what you got to do. All right. Let's open our one pack here. Oh, I guess we have two. All right. Pack one, pick one. I would pick the... Paladin versus Waltzer. Oh, which one do I like more? Waltzer's got evasion. It's kind of cool. Don't play green, red, or white, red all that often. Paladin. Both pretty good for their archetypes. I really don't know which one's better. I guess Waltzer because of evasion. Pack one, pick one here. I guess we could go with the uh, Catapult Fodder. See if it's an interesting build around. Otherwise, piercing might cheap removal. All right. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Hope you enjoyed it. We'll see you for the next one.